We're geeking out today with Dr. Shay Strong, machine director of machine learning at Eagle View, and my mom. What are you really stoked about that you're working on right now? Do you know like how my company is taking a lot of images from airplanes, right? So we're taking tons and tons of photographs, looking down on top of all of these houses, and each one of those little pieces within the image, we can train a computer to identify everything going on in that image. So we can look at how roofs are maybe damaged, maybe how there's pools or trampolines, there's driveways or garages or cars, there's vegetation. We can do all these really cool things. And so we're working to train our computers right now to find all of these things for the entire U.S. and then hopefully one day for the rest of the world. What's the future look like for machine learning and AI? The future for machine learning and AI looks like not having to train the computers that much. So. You know, like as a kid, we have to teach you right and wrong. We have to teach you when to do certain things and when not to do certain things. But then eventually you kind of get old enough and smart enough where you can make those decisions. We don't always have to tell you to do certain things. You just get it. And that's where we want, that's where the algorithms are going, where we don't have to teach the computers to do or to recognize as much. And we can start just turning them loose on really cool problems and lots of those problems, and get really quick and exciting answers back. What's your message to young girls looking to get into the STEM career? Oh man, science is awesome. It's so cool. You get to do such amazing things. I've gotten to go to so many wonderful places. These amazing, super special astronomical observatories on the highest, most remote peaks in the world to look at stars and look at interstellar formation and galaxies. And I've gotten to be on cliffs in Hawaii operating lots of cool equipment and being able to watch gray whales migrate off in the distance. I think just there's so many awesome things with science and it's just so much fun and you get to do so many different exciting cool fun projects. If you would have a chance to um, sit with a person living, living or dead, who would it be? Oh, for dinner? If I had a chance to sit yeah, with a person dinner. living or dead? I, that's so tough because I like, I like quiet time. So I really like quiet dinners where I can maybe be like anonymous. You know what anonymous means? No. Like, like just nobody knows who I am. But I think Zelda Fitzgerald could be kind of cool. You know, I named Zelda mm -hmm. for her. She's super artistic and smart and a little crazy, but she would make for a pretty fun dinner companion.